Hello, hello everyone. Welcome. I'm Kathy Crabb, soul reader, artist, and astrologer in Southern California. I've got some white sage here. I've just blessed, protected, saged our space for this moon day soul reading for the week ahead. We'll peek in at the astrology of the month, of the, the week, and also pull a couple oracle cards from my hand-painted decks and do a little reading. And hopefully this will bring you comfort, insight, and healing for the week ahead. So just to start us off, I've got some Zodiac Goddess power cards from my new deck. Just came out this, uh, this year. And I've pulled cards for the coming week based on the astrology of the week. So we start out with the moon on Monday is in Sagittarius. And here's some Sagittarius goddess, uh, a goddess, Artemis, goddess of the wood. Um, and this is a uh, astrology goddess. So Sag with Sagittarius, we're leaping into the the wild and unknown with the beginning of the week it's an it was a new moon on friday so we've hopefully we've seeded our intentions if you still want to do that should be okay beginning of the week put your intentions in place for the month ahead so with Sag, we've got to stretch my horizons to envision the big picture. And we can see the third eye being lit up like a flame. It's a fire sign, so a fiery start to the week. And I seek freedom from all oppression. Sagittarius is a freedom fighter. So from there, the moon will go into midweek. Um, we'll be going into Capricorn. And the affirmation there is, I am a success in everything I do. A nice little mantra to keep in mind midweek as you get over the, the hump and as your week progresses, we've got Mercury retrograde. So we won't necessarily be moving fast forward, <laughs> which Capricorn moon might feel a little bit ugh, stuck with that energy, but Remain flexible, go with the flow, see where it takes you. Just don't expect to be exactly where you want to be. Because we're working with the moon, this is our intuition. So intuitively, we'll try and tune into the energy of those signs to help us intuit what the best way forward or what the best way to be still, forward or still, just to be with the energy. Uh, later in the week, the moon will go into Aquarius, and that's the water bearer. I tend the web of community. So emotionally, intuitively, we may feel guided to have some friends, some group energy. Um, we may be wanting to reach out on the internet, maybe through Zoom, uh, just to make connections with those of like mind, like you're doing today. Maybe you'll watch this moon day video again later in the week and connect with a larger circle of friends and like minds that are watching this together. I always find with meditation and intention when you do have group energy it increases the energy, the power, uh, it makes it just it has more vibrancy Okay, so let's start with a lefty oracle. This is the deck I drew with my non-dominant left hand, the intuitive hand. I'm going to shuffle a card for the week ahead. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to just let them to the front of your brain so you can focus on them. Maybe this card will give you some insight into your your question for the week ahead or an issue something you're dealing with so what i do is i place my hand over the card to read the card psychically see what i can get 
uh, maybe a feeling, it may be a smell, it's most likely an image that I will receive. Sometimes it'll be a meditation or a guided exercise for you. So just a moment, a uh, quiet time right now for you to breathe in, relaxed breaths, sink into your seat, find yourself just getting really calm and peaceful. bear with me here i'm just i'm finding that i've been doing these readings for a few months now in as a video format and i find i get the same information every month which is you know working intuitively we need that quiet space the calmness to go within to hear our intuition the grounding working with mother earth and of course just non-stop chatter and you know there's always stuff going on around us that we're going to have to um you know deal with if we want to hear our intuition so i just keep getting that over and over every single time i could probably just repeat the same thing mm. so what i'm going to do uh is hold up this card for you to see and abraxia holds up upholds the sky and I'm going to also turn to the guidebook and see what Abraxia has in store for us for the week ahead. The guidebook has journal prompts, uh, expressive body movement. So her mantra is, I expand, which is perfect for the beginning of the week. We've got the new moon. We've planted our seed. We're expanding outward and upward into the light of day because our seed was planted in the dark of the moon and we're reaching up to the sky abraxia upholds the sky there she is again i love that card to me she has very aquarian energy also she's very star like a very starry being okay so I'll just leave, I'm going to give you an expressive body movement challenge that you could do now while you're watching or watch again or just remember it at short and do it afterwards or when you feel you need to expand. Maybe there's an issue or a problem that you're dealing with and you need to really expand your energy. So, uh, so for this body movement, it's like stand up or be seated if you prefer with your arms stretched up high and your feet firmly planted on the ground lift your arms as if you're trying to touch the stars in the night sky like goddess newt or like abraxia bearing the weight of all this beauty and yourself feel your body as a conduit connecting earth and sky you are a divine channel allowing the heavens to touch the earth be with this feel this stretch 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 and imagine so that's a little exercise for you to do this week if you're feeling stuck if you're feeling you need some inspiration if you're wanting to deal with a problem and see a bigger picture. It's a very Sagittarian. I feel it's a very Aquarian. Uh, mm, it's all kinds of things. And also Cap we've got this, this Capricorn card and she's got her arms outstretched into a rainbow. So that's just something we might need to work with this week. I've also got the spirit animal deck with me, my elf and ally deck. And that's got 72 spirit animals. And I'm going to pull us a, an animal or a bird for the week ahead. So I'm just shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. 
Okay, pulling a card with my non-dominant left hand. Okay, I'm just going to read this card psychically first to see if anything comes up. Putting my left hand over the card. And the whole month of October is the month of, it's a Halloween month. We're entering into the winter time of the year, uh, getting in those last, last harvests, entering the dark time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. It's a time Every reading I've done this month, it's a time to connect with our ancestors. So I just a little tip for you. I work with this sphere, it's jet. And I just find that uh, when I do a past life reading or an ancestor reading, I find that working with that particular stone helps me resonate, tune in, connect with the past and with those who've passed over. Uh, so it's a time to honor those who've passed over this month. And let's just do that by however we feel called. We may want to light a candle. We may want to have a photograph. We may want to leave out an offering of some food or just a little bit of memorabilia to help us tune in to those who've passed over and just send them a message saying we love you, um, we dearly miss you, and you are always, always, always in our hearts. And the spirit animal we have for the week ahead is the horse. And the keyword is graceful. Another perfect card for our Sagittarian beginning of the, the week because the horse is a creature ruled by Sagittarius. Meaning with great pride and joy, you, you charge forward, trusting you are on the right path. A very Sagittarian message of freedom. So yes, we're not gonna be charging forward quite how we would like with, we've got, um, I know this month, Mars and Mercury are retrograde. So we're gonna be charging forward. Let's just say intuitively, Maybe we'll make some breakthroughs. We're going to be expanding our hearts, minds, and our intuition this week. So thank you again for watching. I will be sharing more about both these, all these cards, actually all, I think, five cards on my blog at kathycrab.com, where I also offer readings for the soul, the heart, chakra blessings, and to connect with our ancestors and loved ones who've passed over. Thank you for watching and blessed be.